are at the airport getting ready to go home. It's been a great week, but I'm definitely ready to be home. I want to go pick up my puppy, but unfortunately we get home too late today to pick her up today, so I'll pick her up tomorrow. But really, I'm almost glad because I'm so tired from not getting any sleep last night that it'll be nice to just have one night of um, hopefully, hopefully sleep. So anyway, we are, they are starting to board our flight. So I'll be home in about three hours. Okay, we are home and we are picking up Ziva at her summer camp. That's what we tell her it is, it's summer camp. It's uh, Hope's boarding in Apache Junction and it is wonderful. Parker has been here a couple times and he loved it. So hopefully Ziva will be just as happy. Hi. That's okay. The shoe is so easy. Like the ones that were all of us little animals still like go away sometimes. Uh, I just walked straight ahead and that shoe just fell away the whole time. Oh, they said she did so good. Well, hello there, little one. You no, know, I have a video or a picture of her. I thought it was funny. She was playing with a big dog. There, sweetheart. She was the one that graduated. <laughs> <laughs> that was her kennel buddy. Oh, really? They said they had her in a kennel with another dog, and she really enjoyed having a roommate. They said they didn't have to leash her to take her out. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Come see mom. Come here, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Like, <laughs> Get up here. Oh, <laughs> hi, baby. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, as you saw, we're home, and I'm very happy to be here. As much as I loved, loved the um, resort, um, I mean, absolutely loved it. It did kind of ruin my vacation, I got to admit, um, because my stress level went up literally every time I saw those women. And I already deal with anxiety, so yeah, it, it made it very stressful. Um, and I forgot to tell you one other incident, and that was... Um, they were walking away from the bar pool and I was right in front of Pepe's Food and the Tiki Taco place and I was walking, we were coming together. They were walking this way and I was walking toward them. And there was only two of them, but they were walking side by side and the minute they saw me, they separated to the point where I had to choose between going between them or going around them. In other words, they were trying to block my passage. And I just kept walking and I we almost bumped shoulders, um, but didn't. So anyway, that was just a minor incident, but that's the kind of bullying they were doing. A lot of people um, mentioned that I should have reported it to security. I actually did go to the front desk and talk to, I think he was probably the front desk manager or maybe the assistant man. He wasn't the big boss, but he was um, uh, quite concerned about the situation. And they also, and by they I mean the staff, were not enjoying having that group there because they were just so loud and obnoxious. Um, but anyway, it's over. I'm home. Uh, as soon as I walked in the door, 
I had a, an email from uh, the uh, corporate um, Ryu, R -I -U, um, corporation asking me to review my trip. And for overall, you know, it's always, you know, one, two, three, four, or five stars. For overall, I gave them three stars, but I gave them five stars for all of the categories as far as, you know, the um, staff being polite and cleanliness and everything. The food, oh my gosh, the food was spectacular. So um, I left quite a long um, story explaining what happened and that they really need to um, put up signs at the pools about the rule of not reserving uh, lounges and then also needing to enforce the rules. The people that worked there had to have seen the 37 chairs being reserved and didn't do anything about it until the confrontation happened and they um, called to talk to security. And then also when I talked to the management, I, I said, you need to enforce the rule. This was not okay. And if you had enforced the rule, this never would have happened. And um, a lot of people, uh, not a lot, 99% of you were on my side 100%. A couple people called me a racist because of what I said on my video. Keep in mind that the only race racist comments that um, came up during any of the confrontations was of them telling me how much they hate white people. I never said anything racial to them or about them except in my video and that was calling them obese black women and like i said it was in the heat of the moment um uh there was one other other thing i was going to tell you let me think of it i'll get right back to you and one person said that it was 100 percent my fault because i moved the the towel and you know one thing i didn't say was that it was one towel per every two lounges so one towel was laid across the back of two lounges and I just picked up the part that was on the one la lounge and just um, moved it over to the back of the other lounge and um, Although that wasn't what I was going to say. I just don't remember. You know, with my uh, brain issues, I lose track of thought very, very easily. Um, anyway, bottom line was it was a beautiful resort. Uh, I would definitely go back again, except that I want to try other things. Um, but I definitely recommend the resort. Um they were in a hard situation that there's a lot of people there. They can't see everything that's going on. Um, so anyway, um, I'm home. I'm happy to be here. Ziva had a wonderful time in summer camp. She, I actually think she seems a little depressed right now. She wanted to go back, I think. Sorry, honey, this is home. Um, she had so many dogs to play with. And they said she did exceptionally well, and they were really um, going to miss her. And um, it really makes me want to get her a companion, but that just doubles the price of everything. You know, it doubles the price of food every month. It doubles the price of veterinary care and health maintenance care and boarding care. This was, uh, for the week, cost about $350 to board her. So if I had two dogs, it would be $700. And that's just not in my budget to do that. Even this is going to make things tight this month. But it is what it is. And <coughs> I am trying to get over the 
allergy issue of the mold. Um, you know, it's just in 100% humidity, there's going to be mold. Um, because everything was wet and damp. I, next time we go, if we were to go back to Puerto Vallarta, um, we would not go in October because we're right at the end of the monsoon season and um, probably go in March or April when it was a little cooler and a little less humidity. So, you know, live and learn. Anyway, you guys, I love you all. Thank you for your support. And, um, you know, I, my life is so boring. I don't always have things to, to film and show you. So that's, you know, really, that's the bottom line as to why I don't make videos anymore. I don't do anything. Um, but I do go Thursday for my dermatology check. And um, I'll let you know if anything happens there. Okay, talk to you soon. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to address one of the comments. I don't remember who said it. Um, it wasn't anything about this trip or the group of 37 women or anything like that. It was comparing my video views and Blind Views video views to Eric's girlfriend's views that she gets. That she gets way more views than I do. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not showing my ass and, you know, you know what? I'm not having sex on the internet. Of course she's going to get views. And she gets paid for it. Good for her. I don't care. Um, so the fact that somebody else gets more views on, my video, on their videos than I do on mine doesn't affect me. So anyway, that's it.